The Seas took care of business at home against the fully resting Philadelphia 76ers in their first game at TD Garden since securing banner number 18. A 50-point brawl of a win which showcased how overwhelmingly stacked the Celtics are saw 10 players score at least 8 points. Brown and Tatum led the charge by combining for 34 points, 18 rebounds, and 10 assists, replacing both Porzingis and Horford in the starting five for a third straight preseason game. Luke Cornett exploded onto the scene directly out of the gate, scoring 11 of the Celtics' first 14 points and finishing with 15. There were four double-figure scores off the bench in Tillman, Hauser, Walsh, and Pritchard, but one of the aforementioned eight-plus point bucket getters was Lonnie Walker IV who fought for his roster spot admirably, in turn finishing as a game's second best only behind Xavier Tillman of plus 27. Having Walker as your eighth man is simply put, terrifying. Let's jump right into how the Seas obliterated Philly. Cornette torching the Sixers consisted of him reaching out with his 7-6 wingspan to tip his own offensive rebound to himself and reversing, setting a flare for Tatum and being left open on the roll for the lob, taking advantage of the defense being collapsed by JB by one-handed hammering, reverse sealing Jared McCain to receive the Jalen Brown entry, and given going with Tatum initially getting blocked but monstrously gathering his own miss for the and one, before hand motioning that he has 10 points. Following the flurry from Cornette, Xavier Tillman replaced him, who'd ghost screen for Tatum and pop out to get on the board. Tillman's made six of his eight threes this preseason. After Brown misses the step back triple, it's White tapping the rebound to Tillman for his second straight hoop. Jalen would ISO McCain with a tween left, Smitty move and finish plus the foul, then spin move through Quinones on the fast break. Left wide in the left corner, Tatum would clank his first open deep ranger, but D. White would snag the miss and set the table for him, giving Jason a warm up J that he drains. This gave Tatum the rhythm to, on the next possession, take it coast to coast and hop into a pull-up in the face of Justin Edwards for a four-point play opportunity, which he converted. The onslaught continued in the second quarter with Hauser hitting three triples and Cornette continuing to beast, as Luke would tap loose this miss from White to garner the simultaneous board and dime. In the third frame, JB would get things rolling by niftily going behind the back on Ricky Council the fourth for the smooth transition basket. JT would take Kenyon Martin to school in the post by entering a fade over his right shoulder after the second back down and somehow dealing with a flawless contest. Earning his roster spot, Lonnie Walker IV would have his moments in the fourth. LW4 passed the ego test after not being given too many minutes for the first couple exhibitions, but took advantage of the spotlight being given to him on Saturday night down the stretch. From facilitating to set up marksmen, to attacking on the catch to get downhill, to desperately lunging out to break up passes defensively, to spotting up for triples, Lonnie brought his entire bag. Urgent to survive the cut from 21 players to 15, Lonnie finished with 9 points, 7 assists, 4 rebounds, 2 steals, and a block. The night before, Walker would write on Instagram, Sacrificing it all, I promise. First one in the gym, one of the last ones out, extra work at night, it'll all work out in the long run. This is the most locked in I ever been, you'll see. The best is yet to come, and when it all comes aligned, I'm never looking back again. Manifesting everything, and never skipping no steps. The work will show. Truthfully, I'm so happy I'm getting to experience this. Rock bottom, my back against the wall, it's humbling. I'm starving and it's truly showing me how bad I want it. And will I be disciplined and consistent? Am I willing to let go of all my vices and sacrifice everything I have to get to where I want to? I'm so grateful and thankful that I'm learning so much and learning more so about myself and what I'm made out of. This is a testament to myself. It's honestly showing me I'm right there. This is the final boss to everything I want and that battle is within myself. I'm so close to achieving what I wanted in the league. I know it's gonna happen. As man, remember kings can't look down. We can't let that crown hit the floor. See y'all at the top, and respectfully, it's never on your timing, but God's timing. If things don't pan out how I want it, as a man, I can be happy with the outcome because I gave it my all. Powerful words from Walker, and with Saturday showing, he backed them up by showcasing everything he has to offer. This was your boy D-Flow, and I'll see you next video.